I was interested to watch the Jason Priestley documentary on the controversial former Leafs owner, Harold Ballard. It was a pretty thorough look back at a time when the proud Maple Leaf tradition was tarnished by a frugal and belligerent owner who was generally despised by the majority of the players, staff, and media who covered the team during the years that he was in charge. I have some of my own memories of the Ballard era, so stick around. You're going to want to hear this. I grew up watching and started loving the Leafs during my childhood through the 1970s in spite of Ballard. My first idol was Davey Keon, and I was devastated when he was allowed to leave for the WHA because the Leafs wouldn't match a contract offer. That scenario played out several times during that decade, and the Leafs were ripped apart by defections to the rival league. I grew to resent Ballard for this general neglect of his players and the team, so much so that for a time I actually switched my allegiance to the Philadelphia Flyers, who became the first expansion team to win the Stanley Cup in the mid-70s. I wasn't into the whole Broad Street bullies scene, but I liked their skill players like Reggie Leach and Rick McLeish. Eventually, one man brought me back to the Leafs, Daryl Sittler. He was such a strong leader, respected captain, one of the team's genuine stars during those lean years. Now I admired him for standing up to Ballard and representing Leaf players and fans so well for so many years. It says a great deal about the current team ownership and management that so many of the Leafs who were driven out of town by Ballard during that era have returned to play key roles within the organization. Through the recollections of former players, team executives, and media members, the documentary encapsulated the frustrations that most players and fans felt towards the club in those days, all because one man wielded all the power within the organization with no regard for the history and tradition that he inherited with the club. While the program made mention of the fact Ballard was also known as a philanthropist donating money to various causes and leaving his entire fortune to charity upon his death, it also pointed out the disregard that he had for his own family. I really hope we never see another Harold Ballard type in the NHL, a disruptive meddling owner who preferred to dominate the spotlight rather than stay out of it. He presided over a tumultuous and frankly embarrassing period in Maple Leafs history, and it's taken the club almost 30 years to recover from the ruin that he left behind. Hey, if you enjoyed this uh, video and you want to see more Leafs content, just like and subscribe. For the Blue Line, I'm Alf Tobasis.